welcome to Horizon Overland. In today's video, I'm going to show you my latest build, build number 22, which is not going to be a Suburban this time. What it's going to be is a 2005 Toyota Sienna that has been transformed to an updated level 3 build. Today's video, we're going to explore the Sienna itself. We're going to do a brief overview. I'm going to show you the condition that this uh, minivan is in. And then later we will go more in detail about the level three Camperville. So without further ado, let's get right to it. All right, folks, here we go. We're going to start the tour of the Toyota Sienna level three camper from the outside. It's been raining uh, today nonstop. It is the beginning of May and it is raining in California, but this year has been unusual for us and I guess rain is welcome. This is a 2005 model. It is a clean title. It is a one owner vehicle. It only has 137,000 miles. It's in really good condition. This is the LE version. It is front wheel drive. I do believe they make them in all wheel drive. As you could see in the video, it's in really, really good shape. No accidents, clean Carfax. Like I mentioned, it is a single owner vehicle. This Toyota Sienna will have the 3.3 liter V6. It gets really good gas mileage up to 27 miles per gallon on the highway. This drives very comfortably. It's very nimble, very easy to park almost anywhere. Almost drives like a regular car. This one is left uh, mostly stock. Uh, it does have a very stealth camper element to it. And really nothing has been done on the outside aside from a 150 watt solar panel that is secured on the roof. So anytime there is sun available, the sun isn't very much available today, uh, you will always make sure that the battery, the secondary battery is fully charged, which this one has. We will explore in just a moment. That's pretty much the outside of the vehicle. Let's go ahead and move on to the inside to show you more of this van. All right, so let's go ahead and check out the interior, starting with the driving area. There is a key fob that would allow you to unlock and lock the vehicle. There is a factory alarm as well as a button that you could power open the passenger side sliding door. We do have two sliding doors on the passenger side and the driver side. The driver side is manual. The passenger side is power. Let's go ahead and check it out on the inside. As I mentioned in the intro, this is the base model LE uh, Sienna. But for being a base model, it comes with quite a lot of features. I'm going to go ahead and start the tour with this control panel right here on the driver door. Here you can see the power windows. We got four windows, two in the front and two in the back. The two in the front is for the driver's side and then the passenger side. But what I thought was really cool is that these large windows on the sliding doors uh, on both sides, they actually do go down. This is really cool to allow airflow to come into the camping sleeping uh, area, which we will check out later. Uh, we also have power door locks. We do have power mirrors and then that's the button that would allow you to open the rear vent on the windows all the way in the back. Here we see the two front seats. These are captain uh, seats in the front. They do have armrests on the side for both passenger and driver. You could see the cloth is in really good shape. Uh, very clean, no holes, no rips. And these are also adjustable seats. We have the lumbar support right here. Uh, we have the tilting of the seat and then we have the raising of the lower cushion and obviously you could slide the seat all the way up. So multiple adjustments, even though they're not power, you can totally adjust to your comfort. You could see the interior is in really, really good shape. Everything works very, very well. I'm going to go ahead and enter the vehicle to show you more of this interior. Here we see the instrument cluster. We do have the RPM, the speedo in the middle, fuel gauge, and then uh, the temperature, the coolant temperature. We do have the gear indicator. Uh, this is a five-speed automatic with overdrive. Here we have our windshield wiper control. And then right below, we have the cruise control, which also works very, very well. Here's the steering wheel. We do have airbags for the steering wheel. 
and we do have audio control to control the factory stereo which has uh, AM, FM, CD player, but also uh, still back in 2005 they were still offering a cassette player so this has a cassette player as well. Right below the factory CD player we have our climate controls. We have air conditioning that works really well as well as heater. Uh, these are the climate controls for the front and we do also have climate controls for the rear. There are plenty of storage uh, in this interior. Here we have a uh, small little cubby uh, on top as well as on the bottom. And uh, right below we have another hidden uh, storage compartment. On this side we have the glove compartment on the bottom that you can lock and then also on top as well. More storage as you could see on the driver door and I think it's the same on the passenger door as well. And then finally here we have in the middle a center console, a small little storage compartment right here, four cup holders, not just two, uh, but also another cup holder right over here. So plenty of cup holders for all your drinking needs. What I thought was really cool about this uh, center console is that it tilts down. So there's a lever that you can pull up on and then that will allow you to tilt this thing all the way down. And this is really cool because now you can access the rear uh, by basically uh, making your way between the passenger and front driver seat. Down here we have the uh, 12 volt outlets, two of them. One of them is being used by the rear camera and monitor to replace the rear uh, mirror because obviously our view is obstructed because of the curtains. And right above that we have the computer that will display the fuel information, average miles per gallon, destination till empty. We do have the outside temperature and a compass. We have dome lights. Plenty of dome lights actually throughout the entire minivan. And then uh, right in front of that, we have a little mirror. I think that was intended to keep an eye on the kids. This is a minivan after all. So you have a little mirror that uh, keeps the kids in check. Here are the sun visors. We do have mirrors with some lights on them, both on the driver and the passenger side. So that's pretty much the interior, the front side at least of this Toyota Sienna. Let me now move to the back and show you the level three camper build. All right, so let's go ahead and check it out on the inside. You can see the power sliding door. That's a really cool feature on the Sienna. But also there is a button right here to allow you to power open the door from the inside. So here is the build. This is the level three build for up to two people. Right now, we have it configured in the uh, one person camping slash lounging. You could see the bed on one side. We do have two mattresses that could be stacked on top of one another to create more of a softer, cushiony uh, mattress feel. Or you could just use one of them if you prefer to have a firmer uh, mattress. This is a three inch foam mattress. It's 75 inches by 25, both of them are, and they could be laid out right next to one another when this entire platform becomes a two person camper for two people uh, to sleep. But right now you could see the bed is also a bench. We do have carpeting floors to allow you to rest your feet right here and sit on the edge of the bed. I want to take a moment and just kind of show you the overall space that you get inside of a minivan. The minivans are not as long as Suburbans. They are slightly shorter but they do offer more headspace so when you sit, you sit upright with plenty of uh, space uh, for you to be able to move around. Here you could see the curtain. Uh, currently it's pulled back. This separates the driving area from the sleeping lounging area and here as I showed you this could be an entry point for when you're inside the vehicle to access the rear area. One thing I found really cool on this Sienna is that this seat could be tilted or folded rather just like this. 
this will open it up even more. So I decided to design this uh, build in this current format, the way you see it, because I wanted this to be a completely removable build, meaning you can remove this part of the build. And then when you do that, you're able to maybe reinstall the uh, second row seating, which comes with the uh, Sienna along with the third row seating. And then to be able to use this as also a passenger vehicle. If you choose to remove the entire build itself, it is designed to be disassembled and removed should you wanna uh, turn this back into a seven passenger uh, minivan. So let me go ahead and show you some of the features that we see here, starting with this large drawer. This drawer is on locking slides and it opens all the way, you heard a click, meaning it is locked in position. You can see we have carpeting inside for a nice finish, but we also do have storage right underneath the uh, bed slash uh, bench platform. I'm gonna take this opportunity to hop inside because it just started raining again. I'm gonna go ahead and let the sliding door do its thing. And now we are inside this very nice and cozy environment. It is kind of dark in here, so I'm gonna go ahead and turn on the light. This is a USB light. It's super nice, super bright, very adjustable. You can adjust the brightness. You can have multiple uh, colored lights, I guess. Different ambient, I like the warm lights, so I'll keep it at warm. I'm gonna go ahead and also get some privacy in here so you can see how nice and cozy everything is. The view is completely blocked off with the curtain, but also we do have the Reflectix on all the windows that can easily be removed if you wanna maybe enjoy the view, but keep the doors uh, closed. Like I mentioned uh, earlier, we do have power windows. If you remove this uh, insulation, just like this, uh, you could roll down the window for maximum airflow. On this side right here, we have a 12 volt USB outlet. Uh, we also have another one on that side. I'm gonna go ahead and slide over to this side and I'm gonna show you this area. This is a shelving unit that flips up into a counter. So you have plenty of space to maybe work on your laptop. This build could also be your maybe mobile office. If you work remotely, you can have your laptop up here. You could sit upright on the edge of the bed. And then if you wanna enjoy the view, you can remove this uh, Reflectix. Should you wanna maybe decide to grab some food, the fridge is right here under this counter. It could be opened and then basically you can access the food that's inside. I like it because of the way it opens. Everything has been carefully designed and planned to fit the way you see it. This is a 30 quart fridge. It draws very little power. It is being powered by the battery compartment, which is underneath the fridge. I'll show you that later on. Um, and then the battery is being charged by the solar panel which you see the solar controller is right here. Right next to your counter, you have a sink uh, setup. Also could be used both from the inside as well as uh, from the outside. So I'm gonna go ahead and turn it on. So you could see, you could use the sink to wash your hands, to wash maybe some dishes after you're done eating very easy, easily accessed from the comfort of the minivan while you're sitting on the bench. Uh, here we have a folding extension on top of the main uh, platform. This is meant to be for out, outdoor use. So when you fold it outside, you have even more space for outside cooking, but right now it's folded on top. Right behind uh, the uh, fridge and the solar controller and the LED light, we have a Another storage area, we have some high railings as well as like a little opening to access whatever you need. But also you could see the design is working with the current minivan itself. We do have uh, storage uh, compartments that were that are part of the Sienna that I thought 
were also useful so I kept them in place and I kind of built even more storage around them and then here you could see we have some cup holders uh, here we have a 12 volt outlet I don't know if you could see it right here and then we have another light that's also accessible you could see the cutout to make sure that the light and the 12 volt outlet from the factory are accessible and then also same thing on this side we do have another cubby and uh, access to both cup holders that's pretty much what it looks like as a one person bed slash uh, bench even two people can hang out here one person can sit right here the other person can sit on this side plenty of space for two people what I'd like to do now is show you what the entire setup would look like when the bed is laid out for two people uh, to sleep on all right folks so while I'm still inside the van uh, I'm gonna go ahead and set this up as a two-person bed so let me go ahead and start doing that the very first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna fold these mattresses back so I'm gonna go ahead and do that for both of them put them here on the side next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna uh, unfold this extension so now we have a wider flat area I'm gonna move these mattresses all the way here and now we have this bench set up this is also going to flip just like this area. So let me go ahead and do that. But in order for me to do that, I need to get out of its way, which means that I'm going to go ahead and stand right here to be able to do that. So then now I'm going to go ahead and lift this up just like this. And now we have a almost a full size bed. One person can very much comfortably sleep on here, but two people can also do that. And then we're gonna set the mattresses up again. One goes on one side, and then the other one goes right next to it, just like this. And now we got ourselves a full-size bed. And I did not need to exit the vehicle to create a very nice, comfortable, uh, spacious sleeping environment. You notice I did go ahead and turn on all the lights uh, just to show you all the lighting that comes with the Sienna. Plenty of dome lights, we got two right here. We got that one right there that I made a cutout for. One up here, another one. So that's really cool, plenty of lighting. But also we do have all these hooks right next to each dome light you could hang some stuff i really really am digging the sienna as far as like overall interior design from the factory and i think uh, in conjunction with the camper build this becomes a very effective indoor stealth camper so that's what it is as a one person or two uh, person indoor stealth camper what i'd like to do now hopefully if it's not raining outside is go to the back show you the kitchen access from the outside all right so let's go ahead and check out the rear opening the hatch to see the kitchen from the back you could see the sink uh, you could see here we have a, a shelving unit we kept this uh, exposed I think this is for the rear AC but also underneath uh, this is where your factory jack uh, for your tires stows. This is a folding table that you could use outside. Uh, it really is nice and compact. You could see it stores very nicely in here. Uh, this is the sink again. One thing about this faucet that I think is really cool is that it tilts down. Right below the sink is where we have our two five gallon water containers. One of them is for the gray water, the other one is for the fresh water. Here is a stove. This is a single burner propane and butane stove. I thought that was really cool. So this one will come with the build and I like to store it in here um, under, the, uh, under the sink next to the water containers. This is the counter that I showed you inside, but outside when you unfold this, uh, this extension, now you have even more space 
for prepping, cooking, for the outdoor use of the kitchen. And right below this folding counter, we have the Bouge RV uh, 30 quart fridge. I really am digging this fridge. I think it looks really neat. And also um, I can open it from the outside, but also I have enough clearance to, like I showed you earlier, to be able to access the contents of the fridge from the inside. And then right next to the fridge, I left this area open. This is a nice little compartment. I have some stuff stored in here. Right underneath the fridge, the 12 volt fridge, we have the battery electric compartment. And I'm gonna go ahead and move the fridge just to show you what the compartment looks like. Okay, so I went ahead and moved the fridge to the side just to show you the, uh, the compartment uh, underneath. So we have another 12 volt outlet for USB and 12 volt. This is where the fridge will plug into. This is where the LED light is currently uh, plugging into at the moment. And then right here is your AC outlet with the inverter on and off switch. This is uh, this could be moved elsewhere if you need to. This is uh, here right now, which makes it ideal if you're working on your laptop uh, on that folding counter to maybe plug it in uh, right here. So let me go ahead and show you the battery compartment. Now we have a 100 amp hour lithium ion battery. And then we also do have the 1100 watt inverter, fuse box, and all the electrical connection. And again, the battery is being charged by the solar panel through this solar controller. You could see the voltage is about 13.4. The solar panel is charging the uh, battery currently, even though the sun isn't available, the rays are still making it through the clouds. And this is cool because the, the solar panel will always keep the battery topped off when you're not using the battery. So that's pretty much the level three updated build on this really cool 2005 Sienna. So that concludes today's video on the latest build number 22 on the 2005 Toyota Sienna. I wanna thank you so much for watching this video. Until next time, take care and have a wonderful day. Bye-bye.